Has PSPC been outright banned from, excuse me, has PSPC uh, outright banned GC strategies from receiving any and all gov government contracts? So we have two tools that we use. Thank you very much for the question. One is a procurement stop work order for 180 days. So that's in place across the, the system. And we have a second tool, which is a heavy hammer in terms of security. So if you don't hold a security, you can't do business. So both tools are in place. So right now we're working across the system to terminate contracts and, and no new work. So is that a pause or is that a prohibition? They, Let's just use plain language so that people I, yeah, understand. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, putting it in place in, in my head. The suspension, and I'll learn here, is a prohibition until further notice. If there's more information that's forthcoming, if that's the RCP pause. invocation, well, I mean, it can't be into, for, for all intents and purposes, it can't be into perpetuity without some type of recourse. So we consider them suspensions, and there would have to be a very high uh, response to get it back. It seems very doubtful at this stage, but I'm going to turn it again to Dominique. I'm just happy to add very quickly on that. So they're currently suspended for 180 days. At the same time, we are seriously looking at termination. So uh, basically, we want to make sure that those decisions are not made lightly. Uh, so we want to make sure that I do receive evidence eventually from my colleagues, that we're going to be taking that into account. Uh, and if the grounds are sufficient for termination, if it's basically it validates the grounds that we had for the suspension, we'll proceed with the termination. Let me, let me run something by you, very specifically in the case of GC Strategies. We had the principal for GC Strategies, Mr. Firth, at a parliamentary committee. Uh, the testimony I'm certain that, you, that you're uh, privy to, uh, you've seen it, where he admitted to falsifying information that he used to win a bid. He lied. And he, he admitted that at committee. And so um, w whether or not the RCMP can use that in a criminal investigation, separate question, but can PSPC use it? He admitted to to fraudulent activity in order to win bids for the government of, from the government of Canada. Is that, is that not enough? And, and, and he also uh, has been caught multiple times uh, objectively lying to a parliamentary committee. But is, the, is fraud and forgery not sufficient grounds to, to ban, to blacklist, to, to have a uh, prohibition in perpetuity for a contractor when we're talking about tax dollars? Thank you, Mr. Chair, for the question. What is said and also in front of committee, we have to be careful with that. So it does not necessarily, can we transpose that and use that? Again, I would say we start with the suspension. The desire effect is accomplished. Basically, the company can no longer secure any government contracts, can no longer do business. And we take the time because we want to make it right. If we're going to be terminating, we want to make sure that the supplier is not able to come back and allege grounds that for whatever reason, uh, this person was not properly terminated. So. Mr. Laporte? They're, they're not being paid, to, to my knowledge, they're not being paid by PSPC for any contract that is being Do done. they have any contracts with the Government of Canada, any ongoing contracts with Social Sciences and Humanity Research Council of Canada, for example? There was a call-out that was done by TBS, and it did not indicate that there was any outstanding contract with, uh, with them or payment that were being made. So you, you're confirming today that, that GC Strategies has no ongoing business with the Government of Canada? This is my understanding, and I would be pleased to validate that with the, uh, the committee. So you'll validate that. You'll report back to the committee, but, but I'll, we'll take your answer yep. um, mm -hmm. at, at face value. The Thank you, just Mr. Bear. So uh, the committee looks forward that, for that validation. I appreciate your answer today. The, the, it was a request, and you acknowledge you could validate that. We look forward to that. Thank you. Mr. Barrett, you have a minute, five seconds. How many uh, instances or contracts did did GC Strategies use false information in order to win the bids? Thank you very much for the question. We actually, I think, at a uh, request of OGO, looked at two areas of all active contracts with the three suppliers in terms of their security and their CVs. And in fact, Catherine's shop um, led the investigation. Merci beaucoup, uh, tel que mentionné la Thank you very much. As the Deputy Minister mentioned, we conducted due diligence as soon as this matter was uh, brought to our attention and we worked with departments and agencies that are active contracts with them to assess two things in particular. Did those individuals have the proper security clearance to work on these contracts 
and were they who they claimed to be. We also worked with uh, companies, suppliers to provide CVs, and those CVs were shared with departments and agencies in order to ensure that uh, they were properly categorised and that they had the le requisite levels. Uh, Ma'am, I, pr I appreciate the, 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 the process. I'm looking for a number of occurrences. During that verification process that uh, started in the recent months. Next is Ms. Bradford. You have the floor for Chair, five minutes, point please. Of order. Uh, just one sec, Ms. Bradford. Uh, yes. the, the, the response from the witness was, uh, was not captured in, uh, in interpretation. Oh. So uh, if we could have it, uh, the, the, the completeness of her answer was not captured. So if she could restate and we could have it sure. uh, translated. I'd very good. Look forward to that response. That, that is, uh, would you mind just repeating that uh, en français ou en, ou en anglais, c'est votre choix, puis uh, we'll just make sure that the translation is working. Aucun problème, mais... No problems whatsoever, Mr. Chairperson. So I conclude my response by saying that the verification of security clearances and CVs of the resources provided by the suppliers demonstrated no exceptions that would warrant intervening in the contracting process. The interpreter would point out that the microphone was switched off. Ms. Bradford, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Thank you.